Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, so I thought I'd tell you how to um, do the strategy so that you don't forget in the middle of your shift and have Freddy come in and wipe your face on the goddamn floor. Um, so yeah, speaking of Freddy, he'll come from the center hallway. Um, when he, he, you see him standing in your room, uh, when you put your camera down, you'll see him standing in your room. Just put the mask on. Um, like this, pretty much the, this millisecond you get the availability. And then he'll, he'll, he'll piss off to no man's land. Um, and then Bonnie will come from the left, speaking of, there he is. Um, uh, yeah, just do what you see on screen right now, just flip down the mask in time. Uh, Chica will approach from the right vent. Um, when you see us standing in front of you in the office, pull down your mask, I'm starting to sound like a broken record. Um, and then Foxy, uh, he'll stand at the very end of the hallway, you just want to flash him <coughs> with your light. Uh, from time to time, and when from time to time, I mean strobe light, light it, like you're at a freaking um, year 10 dinner dance. And uh, he'll, he'll, he'll um, just bugger off. Hey, 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 there you are. Um, yeah, that's basically what you gotta do. Uh, the strategy is pretty non existent, just put the mask on the second you flip down the monitor every single time. Flash Foxy a bit, open the camera, blind box, repeat. Easy. Alright, now I'm just going to keep rambling so that you don't get bored and leave me here alone. Um, so, Shadow Bonnie, right, he's a character, he exists, and he stands at the far left of your office every 1 in 100,000 chance. Um, and if you don't put your mask on or flip up your camera in time, he'll crash your game. He has a twin named Shadow Freddy, and Shadow Freddy's pretty chill. He'll just appear in Camera 08, um, also known as the Parts and Services Room, when all the other animatronics have left. And he'll just sort of slip, sit there slumped over and just look at you a bit. He's pretty chill. He doesn't do much. He's a recolor of Golden Freddy, who would crash your game in the first game. I guarantee you that Shadow Bonnie was actually the inspiration for Spring Bonnie, when Scott was still making the story up. Um, and I bet the whole reason he made um, William Afton use Spring Bonnie instead of Golden Freddy was so that he could go like, actually no, he didn't use the Golden Freddy suit. I got you there, to like the entire community around this time. What a troll that man. Did you know that he did like three troll games? One of them was for FNAF 3. It was a reskin of There Is No Pause Button, except you had a Freddy Fazbear head on. The second troll game that I know of was, um, freaking Sit and Survive. You had a Freddy Fazbear head on. That was when he was, that was during the build up to the sister location launch actually. He was, um, pretending that he felt the game was too dark, he was going to retool the game and make it more kid, more, like, more family friendly, but that the current version would be uploaded night at a time as chapters, and it would be called Sister Location MA. Chapter 1 of this was the troll game, and the, the game came, the actual game came out a couple days after the troll game. Man, that Scott guy. Everyone knew it was a troll, of course, except for Game Theory, and he actually got them. That was pretty funny to watch. Yeah. Uh, Golden Freddy and Fredbear are actually the same character, but the, some people actually still contest this. Like, it was basically confirmed in Ultimate Custom Night, where, like, you death coin Golden Freddy, uh, and then Fredbear will jump scare you. That was the first time we got an actual, like, official Fredbear design. I mean, we got, like, Nightmare Fredbear, and we had the freaking um, and we had the, um, uh, FNAF 4 minigames, like we had a design for Fredbear, but not like an actual like 3D render of Fredbear. And we didn't get that until Ultimate Custom Night, and that was pretty good. Uh, but then again, people were like, ooh, is Fredbear and Golden Freddy the same character though? Like the hat's different. Yeah, you're right. It's not like characters have been, have been portrayed with multiple color palettes before. Like, freaking pink guy and purple guy, am I right? Those two are so weird. Oh wait, no, those are the same character. Well, what about orange guy and purple guy? Yeah, they're oh wait, no, those are the same character as well. Yeah, no shit, Golden Freddy and Fredbear are the same freaking character. Goodness gracious me. Come on. It's... Wow, guys, really? Come... Oh my god. Yeah, any anyway, about the slightly misleading title of the video. Yeah, I bet you thought I was going to do the Golden Freddy mode. Heh. <laughs> no, I... I... Just, I, I I, um, well, well, I'm going to do it eventually, but I just thought it would be funnier if I did, like, did this first. Just, like, like, oh, you thought. But I hope this was still entertaining for you. Um, because, like, I, I really did put a lot of time and effort into this video. Um, and I really, and it, I, dude, I am proud of the results. Same with the 
first in that video. Although I do feel like it's like a relatively low quality, I do feel like that I'm still ultimately proud of it. I, it's like my first like actual fully long form video. And it's like kind of the kind of content I had in mind when I envisioned making this channel for the first time all the way back when I was in like year two, like when I was like eight. Oh man, this channel is eight years old by the way. That's incredible, wow. Eh, man. Did you know that Funtime Freddy was originally going to be German? It's true. The reason he wasn't is because it was kind of a shitty idea and wouldn't make him scary. It is now my headcanon that Shadow Bonnie and Shadow Freddy were created purely to have more, like, mystery for the community, and then afterwards Scott didn't really know what to do with them. So he put them in FNAF 3 and then couldn't explain their existence afterwards because he wanted them to have more story purpose. And then went like, oh, oh, uh... I actually don't know what, what these characters are or what to do with them. I guarantee you they were the Springlock victims, but that doesn't explain why Shadow Bonnie looks like fucking Toy Bonnie. Like, why does Shadow Bonnie look like Toy Bonnie if he's a Springlock victim? And why does Shadow Freddy look like Withered Golden Freddy if he's a Springlock victim? He should look more like Fredbear for God's sake. Wow, honestly, Scott, you mean you did not have this entire story planned out in your head from the beginning? A story that has taken game theory, like, 50 fucking episodes to do, to like completely cover. Wow, Scott, honestly, just, I cannot believe this. This level, this lack of detail, of this, this, this complete disregard for continuity in your game series, your multimedia, multi-billion copy selling game franchise. What the fuck, man? Seriously, holy shit, wow. I cannot believe the absolute laziness from you. Unbelievable. Hey, if you made it this far into the video, thanks. I mean, I, I hope I brightened your day up a little bit, you know. If it's been a bad day, I hope that this video has been there to help you, you know, smile again. Okay. Get your moods back up. I hope you enjoyed some of the jokes on this world. I don't take care if you didn't like laugh out loud, lol, or like, you know, just might smile, chuckle on your breath, doesn't matter to me. As long as I did something. Thanks for watching.